okay so in our last tutorial we created a script that connects to the database and returns the result into the XML format let's see how to parse this XML format into the Android first go to the manifest and insert the internet permission since we are doing a network request we will use Volley network library to make a network request so copy paste the import for the Volley network library then in the main XML file I'll insert a button that will start our network request as you remember from the previous lesson we are working with the students table so that means we should create multiple instances of students while we parse the response so let's create a new class named student it will have the same attributes as a student from the database of course ID, first name, last name and age implement the empty constructor because on that way we will access these attributes one at a time and in order to access them one at a time we must import setters and getters let's also create a function named print student that will simply print out the student attributes all right so now switch to the main activity class first declare a request queue that will allow us to do a network request then we need a student class of course and we will create a, an array list in which we will save instances of these new created students now there are few ways to parse the XML response in this example we will use XML pool parser factory instance along with the XML parser so initialize the volleys request queue and register an instance of the XML pool factory by using the new instance method then initialize the parser with the new pool parser method from the parser factory now let's use the find view by id method to find the button and set the click listener on it here we will create a new string request so that we can call the php script from the server parser can process stream type of data so we will use method set input which takes a stream as a parameter but our response is in the string format so to convert it to the stream just use the string reader method next uh, when the parser is going through the XML it recognizes events there are four events which we are interested in and the document which indicates that the parser reached the end of the response then start tag text and end tag they allow us to see what is the tag that is being read and what is its value so let's initialize an event with the get event type method in order to loop through the whole XML response just use the while loop with the end document event switch the event and type those three events that we need start tag text and end tag then just to switch between the events we can use the parsers next method okay so now to make our parsing easier let's initialize two strings tag and value in the tag variable we will save the name of the tag that is currently being read to do that we can use parser.getName method so now when the parser reaches a student tag and reads that tag student 
it means that we should create a new instance of the student and also let's add this new student to the array list so that we have a reference to all students that are being created and now when the parser's event is text it means that the value of the current tag is being read and in that moment we can assign that read value to our string by using the parser.getText method next we need to assign attributes to the new created student and it can be done in the end tag event so switch the tag and make possible cases in this example those cases are ID, first name, last name and age now for each case we can use a setter to set the student's attribute value and we do it by passing the variable in which we store the current value of the red tag and that's it. Now for the end I will just loop through the array list and call our method that will print out our students. <coughs> also don't forget to add a string request to the request queue. And now let's run the emulator, click on the button and here you go we parsed this response. Thanks for watching guys, see you bye bye.